His family farm was failing. Now he runs the work. At 22, Jeff Broin was just six months out of college and getting started in the banking industry when his family turned to him for help. His father was scrambling to figure out a way to save the 130-year-old Minnesota corn farm that Broin and his siblings grew up on. As Broin's father knew of a few farms that were making biofuel from their excess corn crop. So, eager to make the plant more productive, Broin and his father hunted for better equipment. There. In 1987, they were attending an auction at a foreclosed ethanol plant in Scotland, South Dakota. This time, my. So at 22, Broin took over the task of renovating it. It. This single refinery became the flagship location for the Broin companies. In a few years, within seven years, production had reached 10 million gallons a year. In 2007, the business was renamed Poet. Broin said, he, Poet is now the of biofuels, with $8 billion in annual revenue. The family-owned company, now headquartered in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, operates 28 refineries in seven states and produces more than 2 billion gallons of biofuel annually. We I Today, his father is still managing the family farm. Jeff Every year, Poet holds an auction, during which employees can bid for items like tickets to a Minnesota Vikings game or the Indianapolis 500. It's Wasner said the proceeds are put toward an annual humanitarian outreach mission trip to Africa that Broin takes with his family and employees. The trips started when one of Jeff's daughters wanted to attend a mission trip through their church. The whole family did, despite. The Confidence Nonprofit, which operates separately from Poet, is among those efforts. The organization, in. While philanthropy has increasingly become important to Broin, so has climate change. We. Biofuel. Ethanol is non-toxic and biodegradable. However, if it's made from crops like corn and sugarcane, the impact is considered carbon neutral because those crops absorb carbon dioxide as they grow, which may offset the gas produced when the ethanol is burned, according to the The agency conduct at the same time, the agency acknowledges that growing plants for fuel has generated a great deal of debate about whether the land, fertilizers, and energy used to grow biofuel crops should be used to grow food instead. Still, Broin considers the Trump administration's recent approval of to be a promising development. In May, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency waived restrictions on the sale of gasoline blended with up to 15% ethanol from May through September. It's